God. Oh math god guys, welcome to today's video in which we're going to be learning how to solve a system of equations by inspection. So in today's video, we're basically going to be given a system of equations like the one we see here, and we're going to have to tell, hey, does this system of equation have a real solution? So it has a point like x and y, or does it have infinite solutions, or does it have no solutions at all, right? So in order to know that, we are going to see the formula of the equation, and we're going to use our logic in terms of um, linear functions in order to tell if these um, equations actually have a solution. Okay, guys? So the first um, problem we have here says um, y is equal to minus 3x minus 5, and we have y equals 9x plus 7, right? Now, we have a rule reminder here. We have to check the slope and the y-intercept of each equation. Now, basically, if we have um, different slopes, right, we are going to get, um, basically, solutions, right, because they are going to cut at some point, the two lines. So because if we have different slopes, we're going to get solutions for x and y. Right, so we are going to get solutions if we have um, different slopes. If we have the same slope, then it's kind of tricky because if it had same slopes but they have different y-intercepts, then we're going to have no solution. If we have the same slope but we have the same y-intercept, then we are going to get infinite solutions. Right. And why is that? Whenever we have, right, two lines, right, like for example, this line and then this other line, whenever we have an interception of those two lines, we're going to get a solution in X and a solution in Y, right? So that is the first case. When we have two different slopes, they're going to cut at some point, And in that point, we're going to have our solution for X and our solution for Y. It's going to be a little different if we have the same slope. Because let's say both slopes are a negative value, so minus 2, for example, right? If they don't have the same y-intercept, right? Here the y-intercept, for example, is negative, and then here the y-intercept is positive, and the y-intercept is not the same, but we have the same value, they are never going to touch those um lines are never going to touch and because they're never going to touch then that means that we have no solution if on the other hand right we have a function or a value of a linear equation and we have exactly the same equation then that means that each and every single point is going to be um, the same point of contact or in common so that means we're going to have infinite solutions now in this case we have y equals minus 3x minus 5. So the slope here is going to be minus 3, and the slope on the second one is going to be of 9. So that means that because we have different slopes, we will have an answer. So in this case, we're going to have a solution for x and a solution for y. Now, when we are solving system of equations by inspection, we don't actually need to get the real answer, right? In order to get the real answer, we would use a method like, um, like substitution, elimination, or equaling, or maybe gauss jordan But in this case, we're just going to focus on inspection, which is basically saying, hey, this problem has a solution, it has no solution, or it has infinite solutions. Okay, so basically because in the first one we have different slopes, we will have an answer. Let's tackle the next one, right? So in this case, we have y is equal to minus 2x minus 5. We already have it in the um, linear equation form. So in this case, we know that we are going to have a slope of minus 2. And the y-intercept right in this other case is going to be of minus 5 but the other one 6s 6x 
plus 3y equals minus 15, we're actually going to have to solve for y, right? So whenever we do not have the value of y or the variable y isolated, we're going to have to isolate it ourselves. So we have 6x plus 3y is equal to minus 15, right? And we want to find y equals mx plus b. So we're going to do that right now. So we have 3y is equal to minus 6x minus 15, right? And now in order to find y alone, we're going to divide by 3, right? So the 3 is multiplying, it passes dividing. So now we're going to have y is equal to minus 2x minus 5, because minus 6 divided by 3 is minus 2, and minus 15 divided by, five, by 3 is minus 5. So as you can tell, we actually have the same slope because the slope on the first one was also minus 2, and we all have the same y-intercept. Because we have the same y-intercept and the same slope, we know that the solution is going to be infinite solutions. Right? Now, let's tackle another problem. In this one, we have y is equal to 3x plus 4. So again, guys, we, you have to remember that we want them to be in this format, right? The first one is already on that format, and we know that the value of the slope is going to be of 3, and then the y-intercept is going to be of, of plus 4. Now, on the other one, we're going to have to, sub to solve for y. So we have 2y minus 8 is equal to 6x. So 2y is equal to 6x plus 8 because this minus 8 has to go to the other side, adding. Then y is equal to 6x plus 8, and all that divided by 2. So we have y is equal to 3x plus 4. So yet again, guys, we have the same slope, and again here we have the same y-intercept. So because the slope and the y-intercept is the same, that means that it is actually the same line. And because it is the same line, we have infinite solutions. Right? So basically, whenever we're solving system of equations by inspection, we just want to see if it has multiple solutions, if it has no solutions, or if it has infinite solutions. Right? And that is pretty much it for today, guys. So I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye, guys. Check out these other videos to improve your math skills and make sure you click that subscribe button to make the community grow. Follow Omath God in its social media accounts, drop a like, a comment below, and see you on the next one. Bye!